Okay. Let's check it out. Ooh. Cool. Nice finger stuff. If I be incredibly picky, potentially the closing of this is maybe too smooth and they all all the fingers kind of hit the same pose so and they hit that you know so maybe offsetting maybe the index hits a bit later some variation and timing i'm slightly the impression was it was cool and then hmm that's a bit even just how they all move and potentially too even in timing where it's almost like a creepy guy a vampire coming into the room but already so much better it's cool little detail cool this is ever so slightly feeling a bit broken that wrist be careful uh it might help you to bring that elbow down a bit more so that wrist is a bit more aligned um and in that way you also don't have that foreshortening where when you don't see where the bend is either up or down and you squint your eyes for a silhouette test then you just see a short stump with a hand careful just through here there's a lot of elbow movement going this way, but um, the wrist is locked in its orientation, making this very, very IK. And it probably, if I would push this around here, during this area, it feels like this would be the biggest amount of pressure on the hand and the fingers, pushing the door in. So to me, around here, I would see uh, a start of flattening of fingers because of the pressure point there. That's cool though. The ending's cool. Cool timing there. Just watch out. You got some intersections and some detail work. That. I'm, I'm in picky mode here. Feet are cool. This you could probably push the orientation where the foot would be just ever so slightly more tilted this way, up this way, so that on the impact it's a bit more offset and then pop on just over two, three frames, it flattens. Just during, uh, whoops, during that section through here, just there, it feels a bit too, like there's not enough going on where it's almost just too much of an IK foot with the same rotation values there. Like I said, super picky, picky, picky. It's cool though. And you're asking about performance and things. Uh, keep practicing. Hold on. Um, all right. So performance wise. You know, potentially through here. I'm not sure how far. It seems like his eyebrows are pretty contained for such prominent ones. You could easily do all this. That's so cool. Like the blink there. And then here, as he's trying to maybe, yeah, I gotta be quiet and close this. Then he could raise his eyebrows a little bit of a change. And then come back into that concern because now it's a bit more in his headspace of, oh, okay, I'm in here and who else is there? And then potentially the, just through this section because this seems like a bigger change mentally in there, like oh, something's going on in there. So another brow change could work here to kind of mimic, not mimic, just kind of reflect that change there. And then, so by now, you could probably change it again because now it's a bit different where, okay, I gotta hold on to this and be quiet and look for things. It's cool. If I'd be 5,000% like picky, I would say not that much raising of the foot. If it's to me like short steps, they're almost flat, but that would look weird in CG. So it's almost a bit more toe down first. I know it sounds weird, but like the uh, foot that goes up and then flattens, that to me is always a big step. And something small, the foot that's on the ground kind of gets up and kind of drags the whole foot. because so it's not really a step, it's just kind of an adjustment. I mean, I know it is a step, but it's not like a walk step. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, uh, and that's why it feels like it would be almost toe first. Again, super picky. This feels like you're doing almost like a mini step. Again, just in terms of foot orientation. This one is a bigger step, so I can kind of get it there. And this one's cool. Oh, we'll probably minimize that one a little bit. That's great. There. But you could argue that he might just get there and get 
toe and ball first. And then as it goes down, you kind of pivot the backside over, pivoting off of uh, the front part. Again, 5,000% picky. This is ridiculous, but just something to think about. And now the picky thing. Uh, totally distracted, not looking at performance. Uh, this elbow goes in boop, right there. It's a bit of a... It's a bit slower than a pop, boop, but it still has a bit of a like click there. Watch out for that. This is a tricky one. It has an ever so slight hint of floatiness. I will potentially try the root, the up and down, your TY on the root. Just when it gets down, I don't know how it is for you, how smooth it is. I could potentially break those tangents and just give it like a 15% break. So it's, you know, if you would zoom into this, it would look like this. But it would, in a grand scheme, it would never stop the root that abruptly. But a little, like really just a massive hint of a sharper impact on the root. Just a bit. It has an ever so slight floaty feel. Performance wise, I like all this. Because to me, that's more the mechanics part. But I like that. The slowdown, the performance of this, how you slow down and, and then it goes over, looks around. Okay, 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 I'm ready. All right, let's get there. I think that works all really well. Now the end. Ooh, I like this. I like that pause. See, not a lot of people do things where you can't see the head and it's just body language. I'm massively generalizing. But I think this is cool because now you're just playing with timing. And the timing means hesitation or thought. So this is cool. Big fan of this. So picky things as you move forward. It's contact points and some mechanic stuff. Polished things. But in terms of that pause there, it's great. I still wish this was a bit more uneven. I still feel like this is just in one axis back, maybe. Like favoring one butt cheek or a slight rotation in Y globally just to give a bit of a change. That just feels a bit simple. So it feels like that's an awesome performance thing of waiting. But then the mechanics of this to me are almost distractingly simple. This sounds super harsh, but there's there was so much good stuff here that feels like now suddenly it's a bit too simplified. Ooh, but I like this. I think performance wise is great. You could almost shave out two frames out of this raise, two or three to give a bit of a thinking, thinking, and then just a bit, and not like a, oh, who's there? But just a hint. Again, I'm talking extremely subtle. Just a little bit of a faster move, just a little bit. There's ever so slightly even during that last part. So if just there's a little bit of acceleration through this section, just a tiny bit, and then you ease into it. That blink might be just a tad too slow, especially the up here. I know there's something that's a bit too soft and slow. And I will probably cheat your pupil, this one, a bit over this way. Uh, actually, I don't know how that rig works. I don't know if you have a big eye box and you got separate eye boxes here. So we just move one out. Just feels at this point he gets cross-eyed. Just for a couple of frames there. Might also help here to see the pupil a bit more. But I love the timing there. There's some good hesitation in the fingers. They're just a bit slow. It gets, it gets a bit swimmy and underwatery. Fingers don't usually move that slowly, even if it's like a cartoony thing. You want to get a little bit more, but there's, you know, the, this muscles and everything tends, it fires pretty quickly. So when you start getting so slow, then that's like super evil alien type of movement. That's cool. That's maybe a bit much at the end. That adjustment. It's cool to see though. There's just a slight thing of kind of a pivot, kind of a sticky point through there where I feel like if I go through this here, it feels like this part is almost not moving. There's some movement, but it feels like this moves, this moves, this goes down and there's a weird pivot. I don't know if it's a pivot, but it just seems like it sticks right there. And you got some intersections as well. But performance wise, I like this. 
you could potentially play with um what's the word i was gonna say lip smack it's not a lip smack it's kind of it's a, a compression of the lips so if i bring in my tired face here so it could be something where he looks down and goes this is the moment of more open mouth closing compression on the lips and then opening again just for some changes uh take my face out of here so that could be something just to add to the performance so i like the detail in here it just seems then mouth wise it's just shape wise on, on the lips it's a bit simple and potentially since i like this so much here that'll pause there ah oh, this is so great what if once you get into this you could almost hold this for a moment and then do a potential little inhale shoulders up and then long exhale like as if you found peace so after all this ordeal you could show in his performance that okay 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 i'm ready and now he can relax you know he can pray he can he can think about things and that could be cool it's almost like you're, you're getting there and then we cut out um but yeah that's it thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.